my name is Adrian Golish, and in today's lesson we're going to talk about taking your regular pentatonic scales that you all know and love and being able to play them over three octaves. Um, in this first example I'm going to take the A minor pentatonic scale. These five notes A, C, D, E, and G. But I'm going to put this G note that's on the D string's fifth fret and I'm going to put it on the tenth fret of our A string. So you're going to have to adjust your left hand fingerings to really make that stretch happen. So I'm playing the first note, A, with my first finger, C with my third finger, D with my first finger, E with my second finger, and that high G note there with my fourth finger. And the basic idea here is that anytime on the guitar that you have a lick or any kind of pattern or scale that happens on the bottom two strings, the E and A string, you can repeat them on the next octave on the next two strings, the D and G string, just up two frets. And then on the last two strings, second and uh, first, your B and E strings, up three frets. And so the exact same pattern, the exact same fingering, and the exact same notes can now cross over three different octaves. And this is very helpful for getting to different positions of the pentatonic scale from one to the next. So how do I practice these? I alternate pick them, and at first I try to get this first octave just under my fingers and comfortable. Down, up, down, up, down, up. And then I might try two octaves. And just note here, the first time, the first octave, it starts on a down, down, up, down, up, down. Next octave starts on an up, up, down, up, down, up. And then the third octave on a down again. Down, up, down, up, down. And even when you turn it around, all the picking ends up becoming the same. So uh, if you try to play this a few times in a row, this note, this first note, should be a downstroke. If it ends up not being a downstroke, something went wrong somewhere. Um, but I do recommend alternate picking for this. So anyways, here's in slow motion, or at least played slowly. Uh, the A minor pentatonic scale. A couple tips before uh, we end this lesson. I generally like to keep my hand in this stretched out shape and simply move my hand up two frets and up three frets. If you tend to kind of bring your hands together and then spread them out and then bring them together, you're just going to get lost. And it's very hard to kind of follow along and keep a track of those three octaves. But I keep my eye on this octave here, just where my first finger is going to go, and that helps out. Here's the second example. Uh, starting on the C note, eighth fret, I use my first finger. Here's the third example, starting on the 10th fret, D. Here's my third example, starting on the 12th fret. Here's my fifth example, 3rd fret, G. Start slowly with these, make sure you're alternate picking, slowly bring them up to speed with a metronome, and have a lot of fun with these. Thanks for joining me.